if y is such a function of x that it could be written as y is equal to x ki power n where n is any real number then dy by dx or y dash would be n times x ki power n minus 1. Now this is a very important formula that you have to know to begin kinematics. dy by dx is equal to n times x ki power n minus 1. For example, if y is equal to x cube, this is a relation between x and y, then you have to find dy by dx. Then dy by dx will be equal to whatever the power is that will come down and you will reduce power by 1. That's it. So 3 in 2x square or 3x square. Now as you can see dy by dx is itself dependent on x. So there is no constant value of dy by dx. Fine. But you don't have to much worry about what we are going to do with after finding this dy by dx. But you have to concentrate on learning how to find dy by dx at the first place. So I have given you a formula how to find dy by dx. Now let's do some practice on it. I'll give you certain relation and then you quickly find out what will be the dy by dx for those cases. So find dy by dx or derivative of y with respect to x or differentiation of y with respect to x or y dash for y is equal to 6x square y is equal to x ki power 5 plus x ki power 4 y is equal to root x y is equal to x ki power 3 by 2 plus x ki power 5 by 2 2 by 3 and y is equal to x plus maybe 5x ki power 4 minus 2x. Now this is pretty simple. You just have to use this formula and work this 5 function. Work, work it out and find y dash in each cases. Now don't just sit back and watch. Find <laughs> Straighten up your muscles and bones and work this out, please. I urge you. You are not going to learn anything otherwise. So take your time, pause the video and find dy by dx for these five cases. Now I hope you have done it. And I'll give you the answer and you just match it up with them. In this case, y dash is would be, you'll bring the power down. Now this, don't worry about the sex. Whatever the constant is, it will remain as it is. You don't have to differentiate that. We are differentiating x. We are differentiating this. So constant is going to remain as it is. When 2 is going to come down, it will be multiplied by 6. So 6 into 2 will be 12. And the power of x is going to be reduced by 1. So x ki power 1. Differentiation will be 12x. In this case, y dash will be Power is 5, it will come down 5, power will be reduced by 1, 5 x key power 4 plus 4 x key power 3. That's it. Now, y is equal to root x, you can write as x key power half. Formula will still be valid. Y dash will be, you bring down half and then x key power is reduced by 1. Half minus 1 is minus half. So, y dash is equal to 1 upon 2 root x. You have to get handy with it because later on you will have to do lots of regress differentiation and the moment you see root x quickly you have to write differentiation as 1 upon 2 root x. So the practice has to be there because knowing stuff is not enough. In exam you have to do it fast and if you don't have speed then you would lag behind. So that's why it's very important and expedient that you do actually take a pen and paper and work them out on your own. So you have to be able to do it fast. Doing it is one thing and doing it fast is altogether a different thing. Because when you attempt to do it fast, you will do mistakes which you have not done before and which you don't know that you actually do mistakes when you speed up. So it's very important that you work things out on your own and later on I'll give you exercises to solve and you actually have to solve that. 
otherwise everything is meaningless okay so the moment you look at root x you should know that differentiation of this is 1 upon 2 root x okay fine in this case you will have 3 by 2 will come out to be to be cancelled by 2 by 3 and we will have x to the power half plus 5 by 2 into x to the power 3 by 2. In this case, you will have y dash equal to 20 into x to the power 3 minus x. Differentiation of x. x is x to the power 1. When you differentiate x, 1 is going to come down and the power is going to be reduced by 1. 1 minus 1. So that is 0. x to the power 0 and anything to the power 0 is 1. So differentiation of x, if you use this formula, you will you will you will come to as 1. So differentiation of x is 1 and 2 will remain as it is. So differentiation of 2x is 2. 2 into 1, 2. So in this case, you have 20x cubed minus 2. Okay. So that's it. You have learned how to do the differentiation of a polynomial function like this. Okay. Now I'll tell you why did I teach you this. Ha! Huh. Differentiation of y. Differentiation. dy by dx. This thing means differentiation of y with respect to x. That means rate of change of y with respect to x. When you are changing x, with what rate y is changing? So dy by dx is actually going to give you a function which will be rate of change of y with respect to x. So if we have y is equal to 2x, then dy by dx, just do the dy by dx of this using the formula we have studied. dy by dx in this case will come out to be 2. So for linear equation, if you see 2x plus 3, even if you had y is equal to 2x plus 3, then the differentiation, when you do the differentiation, I told you that when you when you have two terms, you will do the differentiation of both the terms individually and add them. So when you, you are finding dy by dx, do the differentiation for this plus differentiation of this. So differentiation of 2x is 2. We have seen this. Now differentiation of 3, 3 could be written as 3 dot 3 into x to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1. We know that. So 3 could be written as 3 into x to the power 0. Now when you go to differentiate this, 3 will remain as it is. Power comes down into 0. And you have reduced the power by 1. This thing, whatever this is and this is, when you have a 0, entire things become 0. The differentiation of a constant term will be 0. From here we understand. So differentiation of 3 will be 0. So dy by dx is 2 plus 0. So dy by dx is actually 2. Now it has certain implications. dy by dx is 2. That means dy by dx in this case, in case of a linear equation, is a constant. dy by dx means change in y with respect to x. That means if x has been changed 4 times, y will be changed 8 times. Change in y with respect to x is going to remain constant which is 2. That's what it means. And you also know that the linear equation, the graph of a linear equation is always a straight line. Like this or this or this or this, whatever, it always is a straight line. The reason why it is a straight line, you can understand, you can actually back check why it is a straight line because differentiation, now when you have learned it, you know that differentiation of a linear equation will always be a constant. Whether it is y is equal to 4x plus 5 or 6x plus 7 or whatever the linear equation is, the differentiation will always come out to be a constant. The general form of linear equation is y is equal to mx plus c. When you differentiate it, dy by dx, this mx, differentiation of mx will come out as m 
and constant differentiation would be zero. So dy by dx will always be a constant which will be equal to m. So the point here is dy by dx is a constant. That means rate of change of y with respect to x is always a constant. So the graph will have to be a lean, will have to be a straight line. Remember when I showed you the graph of uniform speed and non-uniform speed. Graph of distance versus time for uniform speed, you got a graph like this and for non-uniform speed. In the first example, very first example that we studied, I showed you it could be something like this. Now, the reason why we got it a straight line was because when you have a same amount of distance traveled for a same amount of time, it will ha have to be a straight line. That means change in s with respect to time. If one unit of time has lapsed, then a certain unit of s will increase for every one unit of time that is lapsed. So change in s with respect to t is a constant for a constant speed. So if change in y with respect to x is a constant, then y will always increase by a particular amount for a particular increase in x. So the graph will have to be a straight line between y and x, which you have drawn before in class 10. So you would know this, that graph have to be a straight line. So for a linear equation, dy by dx is a constant. Now for a non-linear equation, for example, consider a quadratic e equation. For a quadratic equation like y is equal to x squared, dy by dx will come out to be 2x. Now you should be very efficient and fast in finding the differentiation. You shouldn't have a problem. Looking at y is equal to x squared, you should know that the dy by dx is going to be 2x. Now in this case, dy by dx is not independent of x. That means dy, dy by dx is not a constant. Here dy by dx was a constant. That means rate of change of y is not a, with respect to x here, is not a constant. It is dependent on x. So for larger value of x, rate of change of y with respect to x for the same amount of change in x will be larger. And you do know that the graph of y is equal to x squared is something like this. When you have a larger value of x, the increase in y is much higher than as compared to lower value of x.